Hey guys, it's Zero. I got Justin on the line. Say hi, Justin. What's up, everybody? Um, we got a little bit of news. Uh, we got a couple bands for the NU tier, and those are yep. the Fighting Bears, the big teddy bear and the evil dark teddy bear. Uh, yeah. These big panda. <laughs> dump these. Oh yeah, Po Po Kung Fu Panda. Kung Fu Panda is too strong for NU guys. Um. Justin, doesn't it feel like these have been being suspect tested for like three straight months? Yeah, it's been a while. We made that NU team back in January. Yeah, I uh, and, uh I like forgot it's that been, these... It's been almost two solid months of that team, and I gotta tell you, um, I mean, I, I don't know if you remember or not, but Pangoro did give us a little trouble. I think we even have uh, that's that's one of the teams that we featured in one of our showdown videos on the channel. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, really quickly, I will pull up the uh, the thread here really quick, talking about why yeah. you want to talk about Pangoro first, right? Yeah. Um, for me personally, uh, I never had too much problem with Beware, uh, but our team that we were running could kind of handle it. We had Arcanine with with Intimidate and uh, Stab and pseudo of super effective because of fluffy fire attacks yes. with the with the flare blitz so we really did not care too much about beware on the team but what was a problem was pangoro uh something that's i think it's new to eighth gen right for for the ability oh uh, yeah scrappy um yeah, yeah. so scrappy you now talk about that? yeah uh, if you're running scrappy and it, it you, now you can originally you... tell people for people that don't know tell people what scrappy is first uh, so Scrappy, the basis of Scrappy is that um, you can hit ghost types with fighting and normal type of um, attacks. So it's really nice. Yeah. Um, especially for Pangoro, it gets stab fighting attacks. Um, Sir Fetch yep. gets it. Uh, Kangaskhan gets it. Um, yep. So yeah, they're not really okay. afraid of ghosts. So like that in itself was enough to make Pangoro pretty strong. But then you factor with in this. With the stab close combat. Yep. He can close combat all day. Uh, yes, and then, close combat without. The, that's what I meant was because some people might be saying, "Well, why don't you use a dark type attack? It's super effective." It's because of that, you know, feared switch in. Yeah. Normally, you don't want to throw it up close combat if there's a ghost in the back because they could just switch in for free. Now they can't because it's and it's stab too. So stab yeah. close combat with scrappy was very strong. You don't have to predict. That that's exactly. like the basis. You don't have to predict at all. Um, yep. So the the new tech for eighth gen for Scrappy, um, they're trying to nerf Intimidate a little bit. So with Scrappy, you cannot be intimidated. So that's that's another yep. really nice thing going for Pangoro. It's very difficult to deal with with our team because obviously one of the big cruxes uh, uh, of our team was the Intimidate. Like I already mentioned, with Beware was the Intimidate in uh, not Incin <laughs> Arcanine. Yeah. And um, yeah. to not be able to be able to switch him in with the boots or whatever in and out freely and get those intimidate shuffles in the tier is really, really handy. And to not be able to do that on Pangoro is really, really difficult. Not to mention he still has the transfer move stab knockoff on the tier. So knocking off his heavy duty boots, being immune to intimidate, it really shuts down old janky boy. Yeah, yeah, it really does. Um Really quickly, the set that they're running, I've got pulled up here. Um, yeah, which, which is the which set is the first one? Um, well, I got, I got the one set that they pretty much seem to always be running. We got a life form of Scrappy. Uh, we're actually running Max Jolly here um, because you you got Bullet Punch too. You can run Max HP yep. if you want because of Bullet Punch, but uh, Knock Off Close Combat, uh, really deadly stab combination. These are both Very so strong. powerful, and a little bit of Bullet Punch. He also gets a uh, Gunk Shot if you want to hit Sylveon. Yep. Um, and then Drain Punch to kind of uh, litigate some of the damage that you've taken because of Life Orb. 124 yep. base power. Uh, that kind of speaks for itself, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. So. And we were kind of talking beforehand about uh, how we feel about him moving up because ostensibly he's now, because he's NUBL, he's essentially in the RU tier now. Yeah. Uh, my personal opinion, and I'll let you chime in, I think he's going to do just fine. Because if we look at the history of 8th Gen thus far with Pangoro, he has been bouncing around what used to be before the Crown Tundra drop. He was in UU for a while, or BL. Yeah, remember? yeah. I think I think he was RUBL. 
Yeah, R U B O, and I, he, yeah. So he did a he had a real nice stint in U U. People have been using him in O U even for a long time in eighth gen. Yeah. So and then looking through what is currently R U, it looks kind of like pre crown U U. So I, I honestly do think he's going to have a lot of the similar uh, fun times. Like there's Metagross in there. He yeah. Just, he like stab super effective. Um, Knockoffs on the Metagross. He's not gonna like that very much. Yep, I'm looking through right now, and the first thing I notice is there's, there is a few like ghost types, but like you know, Chandelure can't switch in because of no, close no, combat no. and knock. You can't switch in. Um, Cloyster, Cobalion, he's not knocked off either. Dublade can't switch in because nope. he's because of Scrappy. He's weak to fighting the combo, the fighting and dark combo. He's, yeah, he's weak to the close combat, so that he sh it shuts down Dublade, which is actually a really premier defensive poke right yep, now. Yep, Gardevoir, oh, Gardevoir and Glastrier, no, they free are bullet punch in close combat, respectively. Uh, Incineroar, yep. you can't switch in yep. because you can't intimidate him, and he's going to close combat you. I'm going to close combat in the face. Yeah. Really strong. Magnazone, um, Alola Marowak can't switch in. There's just so much things that just can't switch in. Like, even Mimikyu, you you got yeah. you got to respect close combat breaking your disguise and then you have to respect bullet punch you know yep obstagoon porygon registeel uh and especially because he can run the swords dance variant too yeah so yeah no. that's definitely you, a threat to be if swords dance bullet punch cannot be uh cannot be slept on yep and now zarud's got to watch out because um both of these bears coming up uh zarud is one of the most popular pokemon in our yes. uh and, and now he's got another He's got another another Big set of check. Pokemon to worry about. So Yep. Yeah. Uh, I think that's kind of all we want to say about him, right? You want to talk about yeah, uh, Beware? Yeah, you had a little bit more to say, I think, about this one. Yeah, Beware. Um, I actually was... You know what's really interesting is... I, didn't, I don't think Beware is as good as Pangoro. I do not either. I agree. But, uh, interestingly enough, we, we, we are the minority there because more people voted for beware to be banned than pangoro P pangoro yeah. just barely got banned and yep. um i'm looking at the numbers right now uh 77 percent ban percentage vote for beware and only 52 percent ban percentage for pangoro so just crazy. barely got banned mm -hmm. but um i'm looking i've personally not been able to make beware work terribly well um and i have been running these same sets that they're running but uh anyway we'll just like get into them really quick obviously fluffy where you take half damage from physical moves that are not fire right and ice yep. is ice another one or is it just no fire? it's just fire okay so basically yeah it's you take half damage from all physical moves uh and then you but at the same time you are now uh, take 50% more damage from any <clears throat> fire type, physical or special. So essentially, you are now weak to fire, regardless of your typing. Yep. Uh, the sets that they kind of go over here are um, our Choice Band and the really? um, Swords Dance sets. Uh, and uh, yep. I've got those pulled up here as well. Uh, the Is that Swords Dance Life Orb? I got Swords Dance Leftovers, but you can run Life Orbs because of Drain Punch. Um, and Drain Punch is a big one for him. You can run close combat as well. That's another thing that pushed Beware over the edge is the fact that now he has close combat, and I don't think he had that before. And you no, can I just spam it. I think it was either it. Drain Punch, Brick Break, Super Power, stuff like that back yep, and forth. Yep. And he lost Return, but now he has Double Edge. So, yep. so the Double Edge and then the Drain Punch. Bandit Double Edge has been really good. Again, we ha our team has not our NU team is, is stacked up pretty good against Beware, but that's sort of like that was something that we we intentionally built into the team when we made it. Yes. So that's one it's, again. It's biased as to terms of why we haven't had a problem with Beware in the tier as much. But uh, one of our friends has definitely run and been run over by the double edge Beware, and he swears by it. Yeah. It also gets Darkest Lariat, which is really nice for getting through setup. Pokemon um, in that tier specifically things like uh, I believe the horse I think Mudsdale is down there and like you know that Mudsdale could just kind of every time you touch him you could just yep. you know boost Damn up his it boost up his def defenses so uh, it's really nice Darkest Lariat has kind of I feel like been a nice tool for him 
I don't know if you got mm -hmm. that just this gen, but it also hits a lot of really powerful Pokemon. Yep. yep. Mudsdale is down here. So, you know, you with Darkest Lair in his arsenal, you it's hard to um, do the body press kind of thing. Like, Ronzong's here, too. Obviously, we've used that. So, yep. you can't just, just buff up. I'm um, looking at... Well, I guess let's talk about his other set really quick, which is the Choice Band set. We'll dive into that really quick before we go through how he stacks up. Yeah, in I think Aria. that one is, is the scary one for me. The Swords Dance definitely can be. Yeah. But uh, the Choice Band, I think, is really strong because you just come in with the plus one and just destroy something. I and agree. it's really hard to switch into it. I agree. Dep I mean, we, again, we're featuring Bronzong, who deals with it very. You could switch in kind of for days on this thing yeah um assuming he didn't click darkest lair yet well even still because we're running max physical defense i mean if he if he clicked darkest lair yet on the switch and read it hey good on him but outside of that we, we can take his close combats we can take his uh double edge and either one is he's going to neuter him yeah. because of the recoil or dropping of his defense and then we body press which is super effective yep so the set I've got here is uh, max HP, max adamant attack. Um, the remaining four thrown into speed, so you can break that um, speed tie with those uh, non-invested 60 base Pokemon, because there are a lot of them. Uh, then we got yep. double edge, darkest layer, close combat, and earthquake. Um, obviously, close combat extremely spammable for this Pokemon with a choice band. It just destroys, Very much. destroys non-resists, um, and double edge as well. Uh, and then you can run Drain Punch here too, but you know that's just uh, I feel like that's not optimal. If you want the most out of him immediately, I think the Choice Band set is the way to go. Absolutely. So then looking at how he stacks up in the RU tier, um, I I don't I don't, think I, don't, it's I, don't as, I don't see him being as strong as. World. Yeah, I think Pangoro's gonna have a better time uh, if I'm looking right now. Like Chandelure can switch in because he doesn't have Scrappy. Like he has Darkest yep, Lariat, but. But it's not as safe. But again, you, have to, it, you if you're choice, you have to make that read. Yeah. And if they have something that can take the darkest lariat, but can't take the close combat, or vice versa with the yeah. double edge. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you, you have to play those games. You, it's, it's a lot riskier than just throwing on a scrappy close combat from Pangoro. Exactly. Uh, like, he does match up well against certain things. Um, I think he matches up well against Cobalion, uh, especially yes. because of Earthquake. Uh, yep. D uh, he does not. Well, you know, Darmanitan will have a field day against him. You you can hit yep, double. You have to really be careful about Darmanitan. But yeah, double. That's a good one. Yeah. Um, you, you can be intimidated by Incineroar, but you know you can come in smash uh, Glastrier, uh, Magnezone handled pretty well. Yeah, and Incineroar does, Incineroar is going to have a field day with this bear. I think so too. He's, he's going to rip his stuffing out because he can <laughs> intimidate him and he can flare blitz. Yep. And we got a couple. Um, we got some strong like physical attack or, or special attackers here. Uh, Chandelure with like the stab fire moves. Um, yep. Chandelure is a real good check other than Incineroar. I think those two might be two <clears> of them from here in my notes that I have. I think Gardevoir is going to be a huge problem. Gardevoir is one of the oh, premier yeah, and, RU Pokemon, I think. Entate. Entate, Darmanitan. Yeah. And we got, we got Necrozma. You know, Necrozma. Reuniclus to an extent, I would say. We mentioned before against Pangoro, you know, the Mimikyu has to worry about. Mimikyu is actually really good into, uh, well, decent into Beware. Yeah. Uh, he can burn him with Willow, and that's another thing. Gardevoir can burn him with Willow or hit him with the... Uh, I think Gardevoir actually does better into Pangoro because the time's four. Yeah, but Pangoro has a bullet punch. That's the one thing that I would be like, eh, you know. Yeah, but without a sword stance, we're going to live at least one if yep. full health. Another big thing Gardevoir I see is uh, uh, Zerka Tree. Uh, I think oh, yep. pretty recently Zerka Tree was the most used Pokemon, and it does carry Dazzling Gleam. Uh, yep. Pretty safe to say that's probably a one-hit KO. Um, oh, absolutely. Especially if you're modest. And then Galarian Weezing. Uh, neutralizing gas away the scrappy burn him. Um, yep. If you if you strange catch him steam. if you catch him in a, a fighting move, then you know you switch in strange steam. Whatever you do, uh, I like I like wheezing against him and Volcanion. Top, top hat's amazing. Yep. So yeah, uh, it's, it, but it's not all doom and gloom. I see some things that I think he will match up well against. Like I said, Cobalion. Um, I think he can match up well against Dublade. Yep. Um, 
There's definitely play here. You can definitely slot him in on your team. I agree. Like Porygon yes. 2, I like his odds against Porygon 2. Um, Registeel, if it's not carrying, uh, if it's not carrying Thunder Wave. But I guess even in that case, you don't really care that much, do you? Well, Registeels uh, have been doing the the Bronzong set, the, the Iron Defense body. Oh, okay. He'd yeah, be yeah. scared of the body. Yes. Yeah. Um, base one, and it depends on if they're max special wall or max physical. Mine is max special, but if it's a max physical wall like our bronze on, yeah, the body the body press is gonna do a lot. Yep. No, you're right. And then like as far as the Pokemon that uh the last few that I think he stacks up really well against uh, Snorlax, Stack Attack, uh, and Umbreon, yep. and of course the Rude like we talked about with Pangoro. I think I think those are the types that he will do well against. So there, I think there's a place, but I think Pangoro really outshines in this case. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I think that's a good analysis. Yeah. So I think that's kind of all I wanted to say. What about you? You, you got much no, more to I, say about No, I think pretty much wrapped it up. Um, I do think that Metagross is going to struggle against Pangoro. Agreed. I think Magnezone is going to struggle against Pangoro. Uh, Metagross is, is one of the big ones that stands out, is that in, 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 we are obviously biased. You love Metagross. I'm a Hoenn. Yeah. Rep. So yep. Metagross is one of my favorite pokes. And but if you're on the side of somebody coming against the Metagross, he's a huge threat. So uh, adding a Pangoro onto your team to take care of Metagross might actually be a really good tech. That would be my shout out for today. Yeah. Is I agree. If you're if you're in the RU tier and you're struggling with Metagross, tack on this new Pangoro tech that just moved up. Yep, exactly, for sure. I, I think it will find its place on quite a few teams. Justin's uh, hot shot out is gonna be max HP, max tech, max adamant attack, or excuse me, then there's eight speed, 248 HP, and then it's gonna be Swords Dance with a Life Orb, Scrappy, and we're gonna have knockoff, close combat, and Drain punch, or excuse me, bullet punch. Okay, okay, I like it. I'm gonna ride off that. I, I agree with that assessment there. I kind, I really like that. Only thing maybe I would say is maybe, well, no, no, nah, you you don't run, you wouldn't run Darkest Lariat over. I don't know if he can get that, but either way. No, he does, he does. Okay, but I, I just prefer the knockoff. You absolutely can do Darkest Lariat, but that's a salt and pepper thing. It's just a flavoring. Yep, for sure. All right, guys, I think that about wraps it up. Um, yeah. Absolutely. Should you guys leave a thumbs up on the video make sure you hit the bell to stay notified with any of our uploads on youtube make sure you go over to facebook and check out our pokemon masterclass page that's facebook at pkmn masterclass yep. that's our page make sure you go like and follow our page make sure you comment down below and let us know what you think of these two bears moving out of nu and up to ru do you think it is valid how do you think they're gonna fare in the new tier being up in bl so essentially ru tier yep. do you think they're gonna struggle or do you think they're gonna shine yep so let give us, us your know in the comments below give us your opinions guys we really want to hear them um and then Absolutely. like he said leave a leave a thumbs up leave a like we those really help uh it shows that you're enjoying the content so uh, all right, Justin, I think we're going to sign off, man. Yeah, absolutely. Until next time, I'm Justin. I'm Zero. Class is dismissed. <laughs>